In this video, I want to teach you the process of lighting a room in sunset time. I will show you the effects and setting that I have been used for interior lighting in this sunset scene. So stay with me. Hello everyone. Welcome to Desire a School channel. My name is Milad and I hope you are all doing well. We asked you what topic you like more to learn about Lumion. And based on a poll, you, dear friends, selected lighting in Lumion. Lighting effects and setting are very important for Lumion renders. So we create this series of videos about lighting interior scenes in Lumion. This series contains two parts. The first part is about lighting an interior scene with natural light. And the second part is about lighting an interior scene with artificial light. If you like to know more about lighting effects and settings for an interior Lumion scene, watch this series of videos. This is the second episode and it's about lighting a room in sunset time. Sunset light has some specifics. Number 1. Sunset light have warm color. Number 2. The sun height is low and we have direct sunlight with low angle rays in the room. Number 3. This light causes sharp and bold shadows. Number 4. Sunlight is dim at this time and the room will be darker than the noon time. Ok, let's run Lumion. After importing 3D model in Lumion, activate a stereo foam effect to see lights and shadows better. Add real sky effect into the scene. A sky light effect plays a sky with clouds and sun around the scene. Go to the sunset tab and select one of these skies. You can change the position of the sky by heading a slider. To have more control over the sun, add sun effect. Consider that the sun effect should be above the skylight effect. In the sun effect menu, you can control the sun position with sun height and sun heading sliders. By reducing sun height, direct sunlight comes into the room. And as you see, by reducing sun height, sun color becomes warmer. Okay, there is nice sunlight in the room, and I like it. Now add a skylight effect into the scene. You can find it in the advanced tab. A skylight create nice ambient light from the sky, and help us to make more realistic renders. In the skylight menu, under the render quality, choose the ultra option. There is some blue light inside of the skylight effect. You can control it with saturation slider. For sunset, it's better to reduce it a little. And brightness slider control the brightness of the lights that come from the sky. In this scene, I will increase it. You can see with skylight effect, we have better shadow in the scene. As you see, some light appear on the bed and around of the window. The next effect is shadow. Shadow effect control the shadows in the scene. To have better shadows, turn on these two options, fine detail shadows and soft shadows. These two options make shadows smooth and more realistic. Now I want to modify shadow options. Decrease Omni Shadow. This option controls amount of shadow that appear in the corners of the model. By brightness option, you can make shadows darker or lighter. For this render, I want make shadows darker and more visible, so I decrease the shadow brightness. Coloring a slider controls the color of shadows. Here in the sunset scene, I want warmer color for shadows. Sun shadow range option makes sun rays sharper or smoother. In this scene, I want a smoother sun rays in the room and I will decrease its amount. As you can see, now we have better shadow in the corner and the edges of the object. Add hyperlight effect. This effect causes that surfaces reflect light on each other. I will increase its amount a little to see the results better. As you can see, the yellow light of the sun is reflected in the room, and areas around the sun rays are brighter. I think it's better to change the position of the sun. 
go to the sound effect and change its position. I want to have more skylight in the room. For doing this, I'm going to real sky and increase the sky brightness amount. By doing this, skylight becomes brighter. Because it is a sunset render, I want to make color of this render warmer. To do this, add color correction effect. You can find this effect in the artistic one tab. In this effect menu, you can make colors warmer or colder with temperature slider. And you can increase brightness and contrast values to make this render more amazing. Okay, now I want to see how these effects and settings work with materials. Disable a stereoform effect. I want darker shadows in the scene. So I changed some of the lighting and shadow settings. To make shadows more obvious, I will reduce shadow brightness and increase omni shadow a little. I guess hyper light amount is too high and has a bad effect on shadows. So I will decrease it. Now add reflection effect. In reflection menu, turn on the speed ray option. After that, click on edit reflection plane and choose the surfaces that needs accurate reflection. For example, here I select floor and windows glasses. Find sharpen effect in the artistic one tab and add it into the scene. By this effect, you can control the sharpness of details in the model. I suggest you use it very low. Once again, I'm going to skylight effect and increase brightness value to have more skylight in the room. For the final step, because we have direct sunlight in the room, I want to active volumetric sunlight effect. Find this effect in the sun tab. This effect helps you to create very nice and atmospheric renders by showing the volume of direct sunlight inside of the room. In volumetric sunlight settings, you have two sliders, range and brightness. By brightness slider, you can control how much bright is this effect. And range slider control the opacity of this effect. I want to use this effect in very low amount. In fact, in place with similar condition to this scene, we don't see this effect of volumetric light very strongly. Okay, this is the final result and I hope you like it. Thank you so much, stay safe.